Welcome to this episode of the Sports Detective Podcast Show. My name is James Williams, and today we discuss the controversy at the end of the Ohio State-Iowa women's basketball game that happened this Sunday. Um, for those of you that don't know, I assume if you're watching this video, you do know that um, basically at the end of that game, Ohio State is at home. They get a huge upset over Iowa, beat Iowa, who is a top five team, beat Caitlin Clark, even though she had an incredible game. After the game, the Ohio State fans in a sellout crowd decided to storm the field. As the Iowa players were leaving, a fan, an Ohio State fan, collided with Caitlin Clark. And basically, this has like a huge amount of controversy online right now. A lot of people, um, if you're depending on what kind of side you're on from this, there's a lot of people kind of on the Iowa side of this is like, how dare um, that fan, you know, target Caitlin Clark and, you know, basically go and hit her. And there's a lot of other people that think that maybe Caitlin Clark was the person that you know, was frustrated after a loss, went to that fan, pushed over that fan. There's a lot of people that think that, um, you know, after they collided, Caitlin Clark basically kind of like exaggerated the contact and was basically being a little bit of a, you know, uh, soaking up the drama of the moment a little bit and might have been exaggerating her pain. A lot of people are accusing her of flopping. This is probably one of the dumber stories that we have covered on this, but I don't think I've heard anyone really cover this correctly and, you know, honestly enough, but I kind of just want to go through a lot of the stuff here. So we're going to go ahead. I have a few tweets here that I've monitored of different angles of this collision just to kind of talk about it. Um, a little bit of a prerequisite before we start playing these videos. I honestly did not look at any of the words that are associated with these tweets and these videos. So do not put me liking these tweets as any sort of endorsement on them. It's basically so I have the video here and that I can kind of show you what happened. So the whether it's a pro Caitlin Clark thing, pro Iowa thing, or an anti-Iowa, anti-Caitlin Clark thing, um, I only have that this stuff here to kind of show you the different angles. And we're kind of going to watch all of this stuff and react to this. So as you can clearly see here, guys, um, we have the, um, I'll use my mouse, I was about to use my finger. Um, we have like the people here, you know, in the middle of the logo, that's what you do when you storm a court. You know, you um, basically have like this big mosh pit in the middle here. And as you kind of can see here, mostly off the screen, but partly on the screen, right here is Caitlin Clark. She is running to the, uh, the, you know, back to the locker room. And then you clearly here have this fan right here around the Big Ten logo. So we'll go ahead and just play this. I'm not going to have the sound on because you really don't need the sound here. So we'll go ahead and play it here. Um, and kind of, you know, this is basically a 12-second uh, video from this angle of what happened. I'm going to show you a few different angles here on this. So kind of see there, they collide. Caitlin Clark clearly in some sort of distress on the ground. The fan gets up and seems to be relatively okay. Um, be able to show that again. Yeah, it looks like Caitlin Clark was the one that, you know, really got, you know, the most of that, um, you know, collision there. Um, so we have that angle there. And then we'll go ahead and show this. I'm pretty sure this is from like under, you know, you know how the, this is in a slow-mo too, by the way. Because um, I basically kind of want to, th this video here is going to kind of show, you know, I think more. Now, now a lot of people are like putting this into slow-mo and being like, um, like, like this quote to here again, I don't support that. I don't think it was a flop job by Caitlin Clark. Um, that like maybe like the fan intentionally ran into this person. I think this video basically kind of disproves that theory because you can kind of see here, the fan is clearly running. She's holding up a phone. Her eyes are here. Okay. Her eyes are here towards the mosh pit. Caitlin Clark too. Um, I don't think Caitlin Clark, you know, meant to hit this person by the way, either As you can kind of see her eyes and kind of watch her eyes throughout this video. Her eyes are kind of looking over here. Her eyes are looking like over here the entire time. She's not looking here. She she is not looking here. Um, and as we could kind of see in that at the beginning of this other video here, we're not going to play it again. But look, there's really this kind of like this big open space here. And you can see Caitlin Clark's kind of looking more over here. She's not really looking here. So if you kind of, we'll go back up to this video here. We'll play this here. We'll mute it again. But then you can kind of see here. <laughs> that's a bad screenshot if you think if you uh <laughs> don't think Caitlin Clark pushed her. Um but as you can kind of see here too, this girl here, um, she, there's no way she tried to hit Caitlin Clark. She notices it right here while it's happening. And you can kind of see her body movements like, oh, I'm gonna slide to my right and kind of get out of the way. So kind of watch that here as you see this. So yeah, she see how she kind of tries to get out of the way a little bit. 
and then maybe like that girl's like kind of like elbow stump that like, you know elbow there kind of hits caitlin clark neither like the chest or the stomach um but again too I, like i don't think caitlin clark sees her until like right to like right here i don't think she sees her until like right there um so i think this is like very much a you know very much a freak accident with the one of the biggest you know basketball stars that we have not even just you know woman basketball stars um just one of the biggest basketball stars we have just a very very much a freak accent here's another view kind of in a um so so this must have been from the like the the big screen up top one of those camera angles and this one's from behind the basket this one's a little bit faster you can kind of see here too again look look, look what i said earlier look at caitlin clark's eyes they're looking over here they're looking this way. This fan is looking here. This fan is not expecting Caitlin Clark to go there. Caitlin Clark is not expecting a fan to come and do her. So we'll go ahead and play this video. Uh, is this going to be the one that doesn't load that well? This is, one of the, this is the one that hasn't loaded that well. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so I, I basically think, guys, just looking at this again here, I think that's the last one I had. I only have another one here. This is another slide. Oh, I already, I already basically showed you the same thing earlier. But there you have it, guys. There's kind of all the clips there. There's all the angles for it. I think this was just a freak accident. Um, I think it's pretty obvious of that. Um, basically, there is a lot of, I think it's a lot of, like, Caitlin Clark haters out there are basically the people that are coming out and saying like, well, you know, she obviously flopped, you know, um, with that being said though, do I think maybe there's like 5% of Caitlin Clark that exaggerated that a little bit? Yeah. And part of that is because like Caitlin Clark runs hot, you know, she, that's just, that's not a criticism of her. That's just who she is as a player. She, she is a hot, you know, meter. She runs hot a little bit. She's one of those kind of feisty high energy people, which is part of the reason why she's so captivating to watch because we love to see her, you know, hit the shots with her, you know, um, you know, her intent with the basketball, you know, how she gets fired up, fires up the crowd. It's very much, she's very much a showman when it comes to, in the end, that's why she is such an entertaining basketball player to watch. One of the most entertaining players that we have today and maybe ever. Um, maybe 5% too, but again, there's a clip I didn't show you guys, but it's Caitlin Clark basically being helped to the locker room. Um, and it looked like too, how she was being helped to the locker room and basically how she reacted after that hit. It looked like she got like the wind knocked out of her, which again, as we kind of showed in that video there, it looked like maybe that fan inadvertently, you, you know, had their elbow collide with Caitlin Clark's, you know, chest. And if Caitlin Clark is running, you know, at a relatively decent pace, that fan is running at a relatively decent pace, that elbow collides there. That's a lot of force that happens and you could get the wind knocked out of you. And that's kind of how it looked like when she fell down and as she was walking to the locker room, because it looks like she had some like trouble breathing. And then she also had kind of trouble walking. And if you've ever had the wind knocked out of you, that's basically what happens. And Caitlin Clark said that in the post game interview, she said that she um, had the wind knocked out of her. Now to kind of another big picture point of this, because um, I haven't necessarily liked how now the Ohio state people, the coaches, the the athletic director, they have apologized for this incident, you know, um, said that they should have, you know, done a better job kind of controlling the area, all that stuff. The Iowa people have not necessarily been like, Hey, you know, sorry, we know it was, a, you know, basically an accident, which I'm a little mad that the Iowa people haven't been like, Hey, we know it was kind of an accident because Kayla Clark kind of had like a weird, you know, quote after the game where it was like, you know, you know, they're trying to, um, you know, do things to bother me, but it didn't work. I'm OK. And it's like, wait a minute. Are you accusing them of like actually trying to hurt you? Because that's clearly not what happened. Um, now, I'm not sure if she was maybe referring to something else. The um, the Iowa head coach had some words about kind of like the safety of that whole, you know, thing there where it's like they need to do a better job of making this a safer thing where people can exit the the court, um, you know, safely. Um a few things on that. One, if you were going to be critical of Clayton Clark, I think this is you, your best fair criticism. Maybe if there's people storming the court, maybe you just kind of look around a little bit more. Maybe you take your time to get off the court. Either you get off the court immediately or, you know, stay with your teammates or like, but, but if you kind of see there, you couldn't necessarily see it in the videos that we saw. Caitlin Clark was running. The rest of her teammates were like walking off the court. 
Um, so maybe just have a little bit more awareness. Again, she did clearly have tunnel vision there. You know, maybe just be a little bit aware um, of where you're walking. She did get blindsided. Um, so that would be maybe the only fair criticism. And again, too, like, like I feel like that's kind of dumb criticism to have. That's not necessarily my criticism. Um, as far as, like, you know, we have to make sure we do something like this where, you know, this doesn't happen again. I honestly think this in every single court storming um, or field storming. I honestly can't believe that we don't have, like, because we have a lot of these every year when you talk about football, basketball. I'm honestly surprised we don't have like 10 incidents like this a year. As someone that has been a part of several field stormings, I'm surprised we don't have like 10 incidents like this a year because you were basically just rushing a huge amount of people that are like high on adrenaline, you know, um, elated, happy. They're screaming. They're very much, you know, animated. They want to get into the center of the field or the court. And you have players, staff, all of these different moving pieces trying to exit at the very exact same time. So I'm surprised we don't have like, you know, we don't we don't have like 40 of these moments over the years where it's like a player collision or a coach collision or there's some sort of altercation. I'm surprised we don't have more of these. Now, we might have like one or two incidences like this a year, um, but nothing that really like this. I'm surprised this doesn't happen a lot more. But to the people that are saying like, oh, this is despicable. How dare Ohio State allow this? Someone tell me the perfect way that we can um, that we can allow this or, or prevent this. Excuse me. Someone tell me the best way we can prevent this in the future. I really can't come up with a way other than just banning court storming and field storming. I can't come up with another reason because you, because it's like sometimes we say this stuff sometimes where it's just like more security. And it's like, OK, how, how is that? How is that going to help? How is that going to help? Okay, we have like a row of people that kind of like, you know, maybe, you know, guide the players, you know, control the flow a little bit. But again, if you have a bunch of like, if you have hundreds of people storming on the field, I feel like that that control there doesn't necessarily work. Because um, again, you know, you're just outnumbered at that point. You're just severely outnumbered. There's no way you can have enough security to um, necessarily block that. So I think unless you get rid of... um you know, court storming, or maybe if there's like a thing where like you can like block it, you know, maybe you have a five minute grace period, but then that before like, you know, people can actually storm. But again, I feel like that kind of kills the moment of the court storming. So I, again, I can't necessarily find a way um, where we can, you know, prevent something like this from happening. Again, I'm surprised stuff like this doesn't happen every week with court storming. And it's, it's like this. Um, again, I've been a part of a few of them, but I do think they're very dangerous when you are a part of them because there's, you know, just a bunch of people running around. Everyone's got a lot of high energy and you're fitting a large number of people in an area where a large number of people typically isn't supposed to go. So um, there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Was this a flop? I don't again, I don't think it was a flop. I think this was just a weird, you know, one in a thousand, one in ten thousand, one in a million coincidence of, you know, them colliding. I don't think the fan is at fault. I don't think Caitlin Clark is at fault. Um, again, thank God no one got hurt in this situation. The fans seemed to get up right away. Good thing Caitlin Clark only had the wind knocked out of her. Um, so we get to see her play basketball again. But again, you know, let me know in the comments what you think about this whole event. Um, maybe ways that we can, you know, better storm courts or better protect players from being stormed out of the court or, you know, exiting the court, which I think, you know, probably 99% of the time we do a good job of. Well, this is maybe that 1% of the time where, you know, it, it wasn't necessarily in the best interest of a player's safety. But again, I don't think this was intentional. So again, I don't know how you, if this wasn't intentional, I don't know how you do any sort of way to, you know, prevent this. So let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you like content like this, um, talking college basketball, NFL, NBA, college football, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out in the algorithm. Um, We've just been posting this podcast on YouTube for the last like month or so here now. So hitting that subscribe button really helps us out in the algorithm. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll talk to you next time.